Hello everyone, this is a lesson on tree diagram. I have an example here and then I'm going to draw a tree diagram and then answer questions based on the tree diagram. Right in this example, you have two bags, bag A and bag B. In the bag A, you have balls that are blue, blue and yellow. So two of them are blue and one is yellow. On bag B, you have two green ones and a red one. So the first question says, complete the tree diagram to show all possible outcomes. So what you are supposed to be doing here, you will take one ball from bag A and then take the second ball from bag B. So let me show you how you draw the tree diagram. Bag A, you have three options. The first time you take out a ball, it could be blue. Or you could take out another blue one. Or you could take out a yellow one. So all these three options like that is the probability of taking them out. You could take out a blue ball. Or you could take out a blue ball. Or you could take out a yellow ball. So you'll take out one ball at a time. But your options are three. That's why you have three arms like that. So after taking out either of these balls, then you go to bag B. Then you take out a ball. So let's draw the tree diagram for that. Now, when you draw it like this, if you took out a blue ball first, in the second bag, there are three options. So your option is you could take out a red one, a green one, or a green one. So this is saying to you, if you took out a blue ball first, you could take out the red ball the next time in this in the next bag or if you take out a blue ball first you can take out a green ball in the next bag or so these are the options you have three options in the in bag b in the next bag you do this in this ball again let's do that if you took out a blue ball first you can take out a red one or a green one or a green one if you took out the yellow ball first you could take out the red one in the second ball or you could take out the green one as the second ball so your first ball will be yellow and then your second ball will be green or you could have your first ball yellow then your second one or you can have your first ball yellow and the second one green so it doesn't mean you'll take out three balls three here and uh, nine there no you will only take out two balls these are the options that you have okay let's look at the next part let's look at the outcomes you could have a blue ball then a red one so your outcomes you write them like that this is the blue then red you could have a blue then green so your outcome is blue you could have blue then green outcome is blue blue red blue Blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. Then you have you can have a yellow first, then red. Yellow, you have a yellow first, then green. Yellow, green, you could have a yellow, then green. Yellow, green. So this is how you write your outcome, depending on the combination that you'll be having, right? Now let's look at the second question. Okay, before we go, go to B, let's look at A. They say complete the tree diagram and show all possible outcomes. So this is our tree diagram and these are all possible outcomes. Then B says, how many possible outcomes are there? This is A. The tree diagram and possible outcomes is A. And then B, how many possible outcomes are there? You count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 9 possible outcomes. So your answer is 9. C says find the probability of getting a yellow ball and a red ball if a ball is drawn at random from each bag. So in this question, they are asking you the probability. So when you are asked a probability, there's a formula for probability. Is required outcome divided by total outcome. So what is the required outcome? The required outcome, we want a yellow ball and a red ball so you want yellow red that's the required outcome and then the total outcome is all the outcomes that we have okay let's try to see now the question asks us the probability of 
yellow and red so when you go to your outcomes the formula for probability is number of favorable outcomes when you say favorable outcomes the outcomes that you want divided by the number of possible outcomes so in this question favorable outcomes is this what i want i want yellow and red so how many yellows and red do i have from my outcomes it's only one this one so number of favorable outcomes is one out of what is the total number of possible outcomes how many outcomes do i have one two three four five six seven eight nine so the probability of yellow and red it's one out of nine okay let's look at another example now in this question we are going to look at the probability of blue and green every time they say probability in your mind you must know that you're going to have a fraction you're going to have the number of favorable outcome divided by the number of possible outcome so in this we want our blue and green that's our favorite outcome so it's one two three four it's four divided by number of possible outcome the total number of outcome is nine so the probability of blue and green is four out of nine okay this is the end of our lesson thank you for watching mm -hmm.